Before you follow this tutorial, please make sure your device has unlocked bootloader and be informed that by following this tutorial, everything on your phone will be deleted, even your photos, so please make a backup. In order to install stock Android 4.4 KitKat on your Nexus 4, you first need to download Android SDK. So just navigate to the page and download it. Once it's downloaded, extract the file to your local disk for easy access. Now navigate to the file location and rename it to something easy to remember. For example, android-sdk. Once you have renamed the folder, click on it and run the SDK manager that's there. What you need to do now is check whether Android SDK tools, platform tools and build tools are all installed. Also scroll all the way down until you see Google USB drivers and install them accordingly. After that, close it and navigate to Platform Tools, where you should see an .exe file with the name Fastboot. Click on Start and search for CMD or Command Prompt and copy it to the same folder where Fastboot is located at. Alright, now we need to download the official stock ROM with all the required files on Google Developers. All links shown in this tutorial are also in the description below, so don't worry there. Once downloaded, extract it to a new folder, open it and copy all what's inside the folder and paste it in the folder where Fastboot is located at. We are now ready to flash the ROM itself, so enable USB debugging on your Nexus 4, connect it to your computer via USB cable, turn off the device and boot to the bootloader mode by pushing down the volume down button and power rocker together at the same time. Alright, now on your computer open the command prompt we copied earlier and write fast boot devices. If it shows a row of numbers it means your device is successfully connected and you can move on to the next step. Write flash siphon all dot bat. And that's it. No, it will automatically start the procedure. This will take around 5 minutes to finish and your device will automatically reboot itself afterwards. All that's left now is to set up your phone.